With the release of new Unity 2020.2, we get a lot of exciting new features and improvements. In this video, we will take a look at some of the top new graphics features in Unity 2020.2. So let's get started. In Unity 2020.2, HDRP now have full support for IES light profiles, which is most commonly used for physically accurate lighting in ArcWitch renders. You can now use IES profile with all three types of spotlights, point and rectangular area lights. You can also mix this IES profile with cookies and even use them for light map baking. The next feature is histogram exposure control. With new histogram exposure, now you have better controls of highlights and shadows in your scene. It is basically an advanced version of automatic exposure mode that allows you to get more stable exposure result without getting very bright and dark areas in your scene. In addition to that, using the new debug mode, you can also directly visualize the exposure in your scene to easily fix any lighting related issues. On number 3rd, we have Screen Space Global Illumination or SSGI. It is an algorithm that allows you to get indirect diffused lighting or you can say global illumination in your scene. This is one of my personal favorite feature of Unity 2020.2 because with the help of this feature you can achieve nice real time lighting without any light baking. This is really a powerful feature and I will soon create a separate tutorial on this topic so do make sure to subscribe the channel to get the notification of it. Next we have improved screen space reflection or SSR. I have to say this is my most favorite feature in this list. I have been waiting for this feature for a very long time. In Unity 2020.2, you not only get improved screen space reflection, but also get a new algorithm to get physically accurate reflection. This option is really amazing, I just love this feature. Like other render engines such as Blender's EV or Unreal, Unity now also have this effect which is extremely necessary to achieve high quality realistic reflections. You can clearly see a huge difference with this effect. I will also cover this topic in a separate tutorial. Next on the list we have improved transparent material. In Unity 2020.2 you get a better and improved version of transparent material. Screen space reflections are also supported with transparent materials. This option is really helpful to achieve more accurate materials for transparent surfaces such as windows or water. Unity 2020.2 also comes with some light mapping improvements. With new light mapper, you can now increase indirect light bounces up to 100, which was previously limited to only 4 bounces. This option will definitely help to achieve better baked indirect lighting, especially when you're working on an arc with scene. And the good thing is, this option works with both CPU and GPU. So if you have a powerful graphics card, then you can quickly get better lighting results in your arc with projects. In Unity 2020.2, ambient occlusion is now also supported in Universal Render Pipeline. I want to remind you that this feature was not available ever since the launch of URP, which was previously known as LWRP. This AO feature is much improved and performant not only for PC and console but also for mobile platform. If you want to know more about this AO feature, then I have already made a detailed tutorial on this topic which you can watch from my Patreon page. Link is given in the description. Apart from ambient occlusion, URP now also comes with an improved lit shader. Like HDRP, now you can also use the clear coat option in URP materials to make more reflective surfaces such as car paint material. Unity 2020.2 also comes with some new ray tracing improvements like improved reflection for transparent materials, colored ray trace shadows, and a denoiser for ray trace shadows that produces high quality result. And finally, best for the last. In this version, Unity has also provided a new HDRP template which looks really amazing and include most of the latest feature that comes with new HDRP. I highly recommend you to explore this demo scene. There are a lot of features packed in this demo that can help you to learn new techniques to get more robust graphics using Unity. To use this template, just download the latest Unity version using Unity Hub and when you create a new project, just select this HDRP template and Unity will automatically load this new template in your scene. It also provides a new scene template to choose from 
whenever you create a new scene in HDRP. I find this feature really handy to quickly create new lighting setup for interior or exterior situation without messing with other HDRP parameters. There are a lot of other interesting features that I wanted to cover in this video. But due to the complexity and time limit, I decided to cover each of them in separate dedicated tutorials. So get ready for some new HDRP tutorials. Also don't forget to check out my Patreon page for advanced tutorials. For those who don't know, Patreon is a platform where I also upload exclusive tutorials every month. So if you are interested, you can watch all the tutorials by becoming my Patreon supporters. Link is given in the description. And once again, huge thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, especially Hannah Sinconan, Dimidu, Andy Law, Brendan Mannion, Dankin, Fuby Liu, Han, Heath Close, Honin, JB, John Marks, Kleber Andrade, Silas Renagal, Stephen Chidero, Stephen Christie, and Underwater Sun. Wish you a very happy Christmas. Bye bye.